I know. Don't forget the boots now. How do I look, Maggie? Dandy. Play the music, love. I'm sick of it. Play the bleeding music, love. No, it's dumb. Don't make this. song of Ben Johnson, and you say it's dumb. Customer coming? 
I could have shot you, mate. No need. Just help myself to a little water. Well, now, that water, it's going to cost you a dollar, you know. We've been having trouble with bandits up here lately, nasty brutes that they are. Have to protect ourselves, you know. Didn't steal these, did you? Bought them. You did? How much they cost? Who's your friend? Oh, him. Oh, that's uh, Hans, you know. He's dark here. Runs when anybody comes. How many citizens this town got? Well, there's five of us. There's Brown, he's the attorney at law, and there's Keita, and there's Maggie. Now, that's her. And there's myself. Used to be 3,000 here before the mine shut down. Of course, I wasn't here then, now. Brown was here then, and Keita was here then, but I wasn't. Oh, did you see this? Now, that was given to me by the Duchess of Albany. Sergeant Major, 15th Fusiliers. Well, that's real nice. Aye, that it is. Well, that's a dollar for the water. I'm afraid it's our only civic income. Well, that's uh, cheap enough. Much obliged. Thank you. Now, the hay's a quarter. It's a shilling a head, which would make uh, six bob for the lot, or as you might say, two dollars. Well, that's reasonable, but I'm sorry I won't be staying. Well, you can't go without having a drink and meeting Maggie. Maggie, darling, come here. And we'll share a drop, just one gentleman to another. Maggie Delaney, the prettiest lady in all of Nevada. Nice to meet you, Maggie. Pleasure, I'm sure. I'm sure you'll share a drop to friendship the world over and to travelers met on a lonely road. Now, I won't take no for an answer. Come on. Well, maybe one drink might not uh, be that bad. Well, fine. Step inside. But uh, better take care of my horses. Well, your horses won't fly away. Good times and friendship do, but horses never do. Tito! Tito! It's a marvelous girl. She rode with Benita Juarez, you know. Tito! When you get the gentleman's horses stabled, come on inside and join us for a drink, darling. Do you like Irish whiskey? Oh, you bet. Well, I got a bottle. And man, wait till I show you my player piano. Hardly wait. Oh, we're just starved around here for new faces. Irish whiskey? Brewed from an Irishman's brass button, sour mash rye, and drifted through the finest hickory charcoal. Sure tastes like mezcal. Mezcal? Maggie, is this mezcal or the finest Irish whiskey? Mezcal. <laughs> well, then, you... Well, you caught me in a lie. A lie compounded of necessity and privation, mind you. <laughs> well, it's not bad, mezcal. Well, thank you. What do you all hang around a town like this for? man with your charm should uh, do well in a parasite's place. Well, now, that's very kind of you. But you see, out there, that's all mine. I'm what you might call a big frog in a dry puddle. <laughs> you see, in here, on this floor here, I matter. I, uh, I exist. I, I rule. Hey. All right, now, take it easy. You don't want to spill your guts out on that floor, do you? Anything you say. I got uh, $40 in my right front pocket. Maggie, darling, would you check out the gentleman's offer? And uh, you can lower that cannon, because I'm not about to get reckless over $40. Oh, is that right? Well, just what would it take to get you reckless? Well, uh, quite a bit. Oh, really? Well, I thought you might say that. Have you met Mr. Brown here? That man there with the big rifle. Elias Brown. He's an attorney at law, you know. $43. $43. Well, that's a good lump there. Now, at the end of that leather tongue you've got there, you wouldn't happen to have a watch, would you? Do you mind if I take a look at it? Oh, not at all. It uh, cost me $18, but it's not worth getting shot for. 
No, I guess not. But then tell me, what is? Well, at this minute, I, uh, I can't think of a thing. Well, you see this here? The scar I've got right here. You see that? It goes all the way down there. It was given to me by a bloody Gurkha. I didn't have to take his watch from him for that. Oh, really? I called him a pig. I told him to eat one. He took it as a religious insult. Oh, we've got no problem here. Uh, I got nothing against pigs. Yeah, well, we don't have no pigs here, you know. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, I want to thank you for the drink. Uh, and by the way, there's no hard feelings. I, uh, suppose you people need the money more than I do. And so I'll just, uh, go out and tend my horses and be on my way. Oh, well, we're going to shoot your horses. <laughs> Chico, we don't kill anybody's horses. Put out your hands. What's the sense in those? You've already got my $40. Ah, 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 ah. Now, you don't seem to understand. Those are handcuffs. Elias Brown is an officer of the 5th Nevada Judicial District. You're under arrest. Arrest for what? Prepare the prisoner for trial. Wait. Wasting good Irish whiskey like that. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. I got the crown. Judiciary <laughs> 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 term. Fifth District Court, Territory of Nevada, is now in session. The Honorable Judge Elias Brown presiding. All rise. <laughs> All right, get up, get up. <laughs> Members of the court, witnesses, prisoner at the bar. All rules and procedures of the Fifth District Court will be adhered to. Be seated. Clean the prisoner's face. <laughs> and instruct the bailiff that this kind of disorderly appearance will not be permitted. Are there any charges against the prisoner? Yes, Your Honor. What are the charges? Forcible rape, Your Honor. <laughs> and who's stealing, Your Honor? I see. And, Your Honor, this here money was found in the person of the prisoner. Now, he took a man, he hit him over the head and robbed him, and left him for dead by the roadside. Are there any further charges? Yes, Your Honor. Murder. Murder! Oh, you poor fella, you, you didn't fall, did you? Now, ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is a brutal, savage misrepresentation of fact. Guilt by degree of the basest instinct of man. Now, this form of vermin here that has in itself the divine spark of God's rule and human decency and love of country and the highest calling of man, murder! Yeah! Order, in, order in the court! Order in the court!
sorry to bother you, but you've got a customer. You do have a room. Ten of them. Nobody's here except you. You mean you haven't seen anybody ride into town today with a string of horses? Nope. And up to when I took a doze. Who are you looking for? My brother. He's supposed to meet me here. I haven't seen him. Take any room you want. Fifty cents. Pete Barkley. Is this your bill of sale? Yes. Nevada Merchants and Farmers Bank, Bill of Credit, the Barkley Ranch. Is that your ranch? My family's. How many acres is it? 30,000. How much is it worth, all of it? Enough. There you are, Your Honor! A flagrant example of trying to bribe the court. I recommend that the defendant be fined $2,000 or hung. Order! Order in the court! Remand the prisoner to the care of the bailiff while the court studies the disposition of the fiduciary motion. The fiduciary, the fiduciary, the fiduciary what? Order in the court! Order in the court! Let's hang him. Bailey will remove the prisoner. Fifth District Court, Territory of Nevada, is now in recess. All rise. All right, get up, get up, get up. Beautiful pearl stick pin. It was hidden in my shirt. You can have it if you want. Well, let me see it. Come here. <laughs> if you got a pearl stick pin, you'd show it to me. You haven't got one. Yeah. Get the key and come inside. <laughs> Boy, do you think I'm dumb? <laughs> I must look like the dumbest girl since Fanny Applesauce. <laughs> All right. Look at that. Oh, throw it here. Uh-uh. Get the key. Come inside. What do you want me to come inside for? Well, I haven't had a woman to talk to in more than a month. I won't come in. But how'd you like this? That 
That's it, that's it, Ducky. Use that key. Use the key. <laughs> What's the matter, love? Is it the wrong key? Oh, no. Well, now, you didn't think that uh, we'd be hanging the right key up on a hook out here, did you? Oh. I'll kill you. You're a nasty Sally, you know. You'll kill me, will you? You do that. Well, just for that, you're not getting out. I'll tell you, I have to hang you. Well, are you going to kill me for $40? Well, no, we wouldn't kill you for $40 now. Would you like me to tell you why? I tell you. You see, they're all daft, all of them, you know. Brown was a lawyer and a town judge. He made a quarter of a million dollars in the mine before they had to close down. He took all that money and put it back in to keep them going, poor fella, you know. Then Hans, well, Hans, she's, he worked for him, you know. He was uh, the bailiff and the hangman. And Kitty, I told you about, she rode with Benita Juarez, but she had one battle too many. And Maggie, poor darling, she entertained the miners one after the other, and finally one day they found her running up and down the alley outside making noises like a bird. But you see, I'm really the only one who's not balmy. I'm a sergeant major, 15th Fusiliers, Her Majesty's Army. I trod the boards once too, you know. But at present I'm... Wanted for a small thing called desertion and murder. You know, there's not many places far enough away a man can go when he's wanted for murdering an officer of Her Majesty's army. So what's the point of all this? Well, everybody's entitled to a full life, don't you think? And they enjoy it. I invent the games and they play it. Now, Brown, he's a judge. He's entitled to full honor and dignity. Hans, Hans has got kind of a religious turn to him, you know. Uh, Maggie, now, she'll be playing a variety of parts, which I'm sure you'll see. And, uh, Kita, she keeps up her interest with the horses. But they're all mad, you know. Every last one of them. But I take care of them, and they take care of me. It's uh, kind of like, uh, it's like a business. There's very little profit in it, though, because, uh, well, because we haven't hung too many yet. <laughs> Senor, I want to talk to you. Will you talk to me? What about? I want to go away. Oh. Look, lady, your girlfriend's already played the key game. What's yours? Oh, no, senor. I want to go away from here. I will help you. Oh. Well, then. Uh... Go find the key and unlock the door. I can't. Conway has it. Well, what other game can we play? I'm not playing a game. I have to get away from here. I'm going to have a child. Please, senor. I have no place to go. Nobody. Who's the father? Conway? No, senor. A man who came here. He was killed. I can't raise my baby in this place. Please. If you're telling the truth, there's a sheriff at Dorado. Go tell him. I will go to prison. I know you don't believe me, but you have a family. You could help me. Can you get me a gun? I can't. Conway would kill me. All right. I have a brother meeting me at Dorado. His name is Jared Barkley. He's there now. Go tell him. He won't hurt you. Sign of my brother with those horses yet? Not yet. Let's see. 
Well, do you happen to know where a man can get a good cigar around here? Come on, I'll show you. I need a little fresh air. <clears throat> A smoke over there at the saloon, but I recommend Don Gordon's store. Oh, well, I guess I can find that all right. Uh, thank you very much. Senor, I am looking for a man. Senor, there is a man I have to find. This looks like Sam DeCoven's Pinto. Well, that's his brand. Lady, you and me are going down to talk to, uh... Oh, welcome. fee for you, hangman, and make the knot tight. Thank you, Your Honor. Let justice be served. You're quite right. It's time. Hangman, carry out the sentence. What about the re reprieve? What? Just a minute now. Just a minute. It says here that there'll be no pardon from the governor. <laughs> you said it was a game! <laughs> My poor, poor darling. Oh, they saved you. You're saved. Well, Your Honor, the reprieve did come through. It was just a bad case of misreading on my part. The man's not to be hung at all. His case will be taken under advisement by the Judicial Court of Appeals. Hangman, assist the bailiff in returning the prisoner to court. Yes, Your Honor. Yeah, I'll give a hand here myself. Ah, oh, you're a lucky man, mate, there. <laughs> Governor's pardon coming through like that. You, you could have been hung, you know. You know, I almost got hung myself once. The commanding general sent down my release at the last possible moment. Don't you ever let a thing like that happen to you. There you are, you... Dear fella. There you are. Almost as good as new. Come on, honey. You just come along with Maggie. You're all right now. Before she goes lame. Oh, you were lame. The fiddler's pits, poor sweet. 
animals as they are, and that's what be. It's awful, wouldn't it? Now, where did you go? Don't. I'll throw you through the bleeding barn wall. Now, where did you go? All right. Where? Do I know? Is that why you want your little pig? You want to get that stupid pretty neck of yours stretched? They'll hang you and bury you, I tell you. Your only chance is here with me, do you understand that? With me, you miserable, worthless oh. loony, you. Please don't. My baby, my baby. You're not having no baby. I told you five times. In two years you've been here, you're not having no baby. I am. You're not having I baby. I am. I am. I am. Lie back there. You're gonna feel a whole lot better after you get some rest. <laughs> oh. oh, that nasty rope. We'll have to get something to put on it. It'll help a lot. Doesn't that feel good, huh? You like that? Does that make it feel better, baby? Huh? You like that? Hmm? You like that? Judicial's appeal court could render a decision. We'll finish him in the morning. In the morning, the prisoner will have a sharper appetite of expectation, which will make his release from this life all the more poignant. Make sure everything is ready. Mr. Barkley. No, what is it? Are you going to feed the horse?
not mine. I didn't want to. I'll finish up, Your Honor. We got a long ride ahead of us. Well, she, uh... She told me she was gonna have a baby. Was she? No. She always said that right after we killed someone. She felt so terrible. And the only thing that would help was to pretend she was going to have the poor man's child. She took a life, and now she was giving one back. That was crazy, wasn't it? Blessed are the tents of the Lord, the flocks of the field. Verily, verily, I say unto you, redemption, redemption in his holy name. Forget the boots now. Ah, yes. Now, how do I look, Maggie? Dandy. Play the music, love. I'm sick of it. Play the bleeding music, love. No, it's dumb. Don't make this. song of Ben Johnson, and you say it's dumb.
No, don't forget the boots now. Ah, yes. How do I look, Maggie? Dandy. Play the music, love. I'm sick of it. Play the bleeding music, love. No, it's dumb. Johnson, and you say it's dumb. Oh, here comes the tiger! <laughs> <laughs> 